And welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally. And in today's video, what I want to do is I want to make some yo-yos. They're also called Suffolk Puffs. And I've got plenty of fabrics to make different sizes of them. So I'm going to experiment and explore. So if you want to watch this video today and perhaps make some afterwards, that would be great. So let's get into it. So what you're going to need today is a compass. I'm using the water soluble fabric pens or I might use one of the biro fabric pens. And then down here I've cut out using some thick paper and some circles, different sizes. So that one is 10 centimeters across and I've done a 14 centimeter one and the biggest being 16 centimeters. So that will give me obviously three different sizes. And then over here, we've got the dusty pink coming into full force. I've actually been to a jumble sale and managed to get loads of different fabrics. And I've just cut them up, uh, some of the garments up. So I've got quite a few different textures and shades. I've even got an underslip there, which I just like the fabric of. So I've, I've washed all of these anyway. I've got some lining fabric there and a couple of others and that's just a cut up t-shirt and also from the jumble sale I managed to get a ton of this netting um, curtain fabric so I might cut up some of that as well and then in addition to that I've been to um, country baskets managed to get this soft organza fabric which I might try out as well and this tool in a neutral shade and I also got a couple of other bits so I saw this and I thought this trimming was really nice so I got some of that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet and then I thought this was quite cool it's wired wool so I might do some sort of weave, sculptural weave with that. And then this is kind of like cut up strips of felt. Country Baskets is really good for like little unique sort of bits and bobs that you can buy for arts and crafts and things. So again, I'm not sure what I'll do with this, but you might see it in another video at some point. And then I saw these and again, if anyone knows what these are, let me know in the comments, but I thought they were really decorative and beautiful and I'm going to come up with an idea of what to do with these. Well, they're really cute and I like the colour as well. So, let's get on with this. So now what I'm going to do is I've got all my fabrics and I'm going to cut out various different sizes of the circles. <laughs> there is an aeroplane going over. So. I'm just going to put it on a time lapse so you can see what I'm doing. Depending on which fabrics I'm using, either using the pencil, um, B pencil, my water erasable pen or the biro fabric pen and just using whichever one sort of makes its mark best on the fabric and just trying to put the template near a corner so you're not necessarily wasting the fabric. So in other words, don't put the circle in the middle of your fabric, just a bit of common sense really. Like that. Yep, I'm just going to put my template on like that. And because this fabric's very slippy, I just need to hold that down. So, so once you've got all your circles drawn out, I'm just going to use a rotary cutter, but you can also use scissors as well. And and 
you're going to have a pile of circles cut out. And completely forgot to do these ones as well, so size to do them. Should we go big, medium? This one, oh, this is so nice. Let's go big on this one. What I might do, if I get a chance later, is maybe layer some of these fabrics up a bit. So I've got my circles all cut out. Let's have a look at them, all different sizes. Random olive colour, kind of grey olive colour. Okay, so we'll start off with doing these and I'll see how we go, see how long it takes and I'll demonstrate how to do one because they're very straightforward. In fact, I did a video at the beginning of lockdown to do with buttons like using stuff in your house and I remember I did some little flowers like using buttons in the middle of the yo-yos. So if you want to check that out, that's from a long time ago, but um, I'll show you what to do. Okay, so I'm going to start with this one. This is a t-shirt material and I'm using Gutterman thread, which is really quite strong. Put a nice chunky knot at the end. And what we do is we just fold over and we're going to do just a little runner stitch. So I'm folding over about the, the width of a finger there and we're going to sew, just run a stitch all the way around. And this just gives it a tidy edge. You can do it without folding, which I've done before. Just get a little frayed edge if that's the effect you want. That's fine. This is going to be a little bit neater. That's it sewn all the way around the circumference. And now we just pull the thread. And there we have it. So you just tie a knot here just to finish it off. And that's it finished after I put the knot in. So that's that side. And it does look like a little mini shower cap, doesn't it? Or a sea jelly. <laughs> Very cute. So there's many different things that we can do with these, but I'm just going to make some more and then I'll show you how we can decorate them. Just to say, when it comes to um, fabrics that have got a right side and a wrong side, you have the right side facing down and then sew around as normal. So I'm cracking on with getting some of these sewn up and I've got my little accompaniment friend Alrighty, these are all the yo-yos, Suffolk puffs that I've got here. 
and I am literally just going to pull all the threads and get them to a point where they are finished. And then for this last one, all I want to do is I'm going to draw in the threads and then I've got a little bit of fabric there which I'm going to pop inside like so. And I just want to have a little pop of a different colour in the middle, just as a contrast. So. So these are the final ones finished. Yeah, so just looking at these, oops. The ones that I really like are definitely... What's the matter with you, Layla? Um, I do love that organza fabric and I do love the lacy ones. I think I really like the bigger yo-yos, so the bigger circle ones, and I have got my preferences of the best sort of fabrics like I do really like that one there this I think would be better if it was bigger it's nice to have an assortment of different sizes so we could sew these together so I've got out a few things that I'm going to add I think those would be quite nice as one of those inside one of the yo-yos and then I've got some little beads I'm gonna sew on and got a couple more there but these would be quite nice to go in the center of one so I'm just going to get on with a little bit of hand stitching So I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did don't forget to definitely hit the like button it really helps and also if you haven't subscribed already it would be lovely if you decided to make that choice. Alright then, um, what else? I shall see you in the next video. Okay, take care, bye!